have rallied this uh, afternoon on a glorious Sunday afternoon in Manchester by welcoming on the leader of the Green Party of England and Wales, Natalie Bennett. <laughs> the support of 24% of eligible voters. We are the 76%. And you do not have a mandate to destroy our democracy and human rights with the dreadful trade union bill, with the attack on legal aid, and with the absolutely dreadful, you mightn't have heard this, came out yesterday. They want to stop councils having boycotts because we can't have democracy, can we? We want democracy! And they are, as befits their 24% mandate, they are the government for really the 1%. They're making the 1% richer. That rotten 1%, the financial sector, the bankers, and now we know about Volkswagen. There's so much that's rotten to the core we need fairness, we need opaqueness, we, we don't need opaqueness, we need openness. We need a different kind of society and we need a different government. I had an email in my queue a couple of days ago that I think summed it up very well. 2020 is too far away. We have to get rid of this government before then. election I've stood on many platforms like this in everywhere from Sheffield to Swansea all around the country and people are saying we want a different kind of politics we're gonna have politics that we do not that's done to us we want real change yeah. and of course we've all had a reminder today with the Sun shining down on us we have the possibility of renewable energy, the jobs, the businesses, the possibility of warm, comfortable, affordable and heat homes for everybody. We want a decent energy policy. And a special call out, I hope you put one quid in the bin if you saw the man from the anti-fracking campaign up in Lancashire. Let's say very clearly, no fracking! The fact is, we need real change. Change is coming our way. The election of Jeremy Corbyn is just one sign. The Tories are going to be left isolated over there and we're going to be here. The politics of the people, the people who are standing up against housing evictions, the people who are standing up for a decent asylum policy and saying, refugees, welcome! <laughs> and the people who are saying, we want decent benefits for everybody who needs them, end the work capability assessment and end the benefit sanctions! <laughs> We want trade unions, our democratic voice. We want them to be able to act freely and properly. Free trade unions! Yeah. So this 
isn't about me, it's about all of you. Today you made a contribution, but this is just the start. Let's go out next time, bring 10 friends with you. I met lots of people today on their first march. If everyone brings 10 friends on their first march next time, and they bring 10 friends the time after, just imagine what we can do. People power, we are the many, they are the few. Thank you.